let's make some pizza dough. So I always do all my ingredients for my pizza dough by weight. Um, so that's just how my recipe is done. Sometimes I'm cooking for 100 people and sometimes I'm cooking for two or three. Um, so this way I basically start out with five pound um, batches and, and I can make as much as I want. Um, so for today, I've got five pounds of high gluten flour and I'm gonna add my yeast first and I just converted it to um, ounces because I typically just use pound measurements um, until this will be my first time using it, calling it an ounce. Um, so two, three quarter ounce of yeast. Now let's see, let's salt. So 1.5 ounces of salt, two ounces of olive oil, and just a smidgen of sugar. I um, I can't use much sugar in that oven because the temperatures are so high that it'll burn the crust really bad. So I use just a little bit, but I, that's it. I can't use more than, I'm talking just a pinch of salt or sugar, excuse me. Let me mix those in there a little bit. And I'm just gonna go through this quick. I don't need to, I've showed this before. I don't need to do it real good for you. Anyway, olive oil and 2.8 pounds of water. I do my water the same way. Um, it's always it's always the same that way. And then I'm just going to mix it together and then knead it until it's smooth. Five pounds of five pounds of flour will give me five really nice sized pizzas. So that's all I'm gonna do for today because I don't think I'm gonna be having any company with this weather. But anyway, if I did have some, five pizzas will still feed a lot of people. So Get it mixed together pretty good here and then I'll turn it out on the table and knead it. good enough that I can turn it out. You'll just notice it first it tears easy, it really feels lumpy, and then once you get it kneaded enough, that's when you get your stretch to it where you can actually make a pizza out of it. like to knead so that it grows longer. Same with my bread dough. It grows longer and then fold it over. And you can start to feel the water coming to the outside. Now 
it's starting to turn into dough, but it's still really rough inside. You can feel the lumps that will all go away when it's ready. If I'm doing a lot of this, I have a, oh, a late 1800s dough mixer over there and I use it, but for this video, I'll do it the old school way because not very many people have one of those at home anyway. pretty good good enough anyway time will also help you build. time will also help you build gluten okay so this will do five pizzas so I want to break it into five separate Just form those into a nice, nice ball. Get this bottom sealed up. Do is put a little olive oil on a plate put a little olive oil on a plate oil them up a little bit put them in bags just helps them from sticking and I know it adds to the flavor as well. 